Hello, hello, this is Nina. Uh, I am here today to talk about uh, awakening, what it is. Um, before we start, I would like to introduce myself. My, my name is Nina. I am a channeler, a psychic medium and a healer, and I try and share my knowledge and my journey, and hopefully it will help other people on their awakening process uh, journey. So let's talk about, because my name, I mean, the name of the channel is Awakening to True Self. And what does that really mean? I wanted to kind of dig a little bit more deep into that. So first of all, we have to define what true self means. The true self is uh, the, the light being that you truly are, your true essence, uh, in a sense, uh, the part of you that is non-physical. So we are not this body, we are not these thoughts, we are not these emotions. We are the light that shines inside of this human being. And so when we awaken to what we truly are, uh, you know, not just the fact that we understand that we are more than just the physical form, but actually truly start understanding uh, and, and seeing things more from uh, the true perspective of who we are, then our lives here on this planet can change drastically. And that's why people are uh, into the awakening process or ascension process, many people call it as well. Uh, but awakening and ascension might have a slightly different meaning because ascension is also very often... Uh, contributed to uh, the quantum field, the frequency upgrade of the energy field. Uh, and But for me, awakening process is very often going hand in hand with that process because when we awaken, we will naturally get more of the true essence of who we are into the physical form, which is of a higher frequent energy. And so all of that kind of when you are doing the awakening process, you automatically also kind of do an ascension process. So um, I know many people kind of mix those two terms. Uh, but for me, this channel is, of course, very much about uh, frequency and energy and frequency upgrades and those kind of things. But the most important thing you can do as a human being is awaken to the to who you truly are. Um and, you know, it, it's different stages on the awakening process as well. I mean, the, in the beginning, you start to understand that we are more than just, just this physical form. You understand that there is something called spirit. There is, uh, there is an afterlife, you know, those kind of things. Uh, but when you, when you move down that path of awakening, you will encounter a lot of different things. So some of the symptoms that will happen to you is uh, you will... The, the, the stuff or the energies that is in, within your physical form that has not been released yet will come to the surface. And that means that childhood trauma will come to the surface. If you have, uh, you know, hidden illnesses, uh, those will come to the surface. If you have not been treating your body very, very well, there will be obstacles that will be put in your way regarding that in order for you to wake up. So there, or there might be an incident that your higher self would put in your way that will wake you up. Okay. Uh, but there are stages on the awakening process and, and, and very often we feel like, okay, now I understand it, but <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, there are still, there are still more things to learn, more things to understand. And after we have worked, we know, gone through what many people call the dark night of the soul, which is you know, these old traumas coming to the surface and us having to kind of go through them. Uh, people feel like once they have been through that dark night of the soul, okay, now I get it. Now I'm kind of there. But that's just another step on the way, though. It's not, you're not all the way there yet. Uh, so the awakening process for me um, has gone over many years. You know, I've, I've learned a lot of stuff. And you can say that, your entire life is an awakening process because it is a process that takes time. And for some people, uh, or for some people, it goes very quickly, you know, but for most of us, it takes time. And uh, your, 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 what can you say, relationship with spirit started from the very beginning, you know. Uh, as a child, we very often are in connection with spirit. We see things, we understand the fact that there is something more. But then 
part of where you grew up will kind of color either how that spirituality is going to look or if you believe in anything at all, uh, all depending on what you what environment you're growing up in. And so I was growing up in an environment where they didn't believe in anything at all. So I had to go through a process where I knew that, you know, <clears throat> I had the connection and I, <clears throat> I was able to do readings and everything for friends. But at the same time, I was confronted with the fact that there is no God, you know. So it's like uh, there, there was a lot of back and forth for me growing up and it took time, you know. Uh, to land on the fact that I believe I know within myself that there there is a God and that there is an afterlife. Uh, and then, you know, the process of starting to... Uh, I went to workshops and did the work, if you will, to learn about energy, to learn about healing, to learn about, yeah, how things are kind of woven together uh, in this universe. And so so for me, it has taken a long, a long time. But I do hear about stories where people have been in a car accident or something like that, and they wake up and they suddenly understand, or people have an NDE or OBE, or, uh, or they meet up with somebody, a teacher, who suddenly just puts everything into place for them, and they are like, ah, oh, now I get it. Uh, so the awakening process is very different for everyone. It's, uh, you know, it, as I said, it all depends on where you grew up, what you have been taught, uh, if you have a quick awakening, if it takes time, what you have experienced in this lifetime will color your awakening process. It's, it's very different from person to person. So there is not one way for everybody. It's not like one size fits all kind of thing when it comes to the awakening process. So it's, it's um, for me as a teacher trying to explain what you are going through will be, of course, from my perspective, what I have experienced. But of course, you might be in a totally different situation and might not relate to that. But I'm hoping that my experience uh, that something of it will relate to you and that it will help you in your awakening journey. Uh, and of course, beyond that, my job is also to uh, connect and to give messages from different entities that I communicate with. So, uh, but I have still chosen to call the, the channel Awakening to True Self because... <sighs> When you are in your true essence, when you are in your true self, you have all this knowledge, you know all these things, you have the connection to all these entities that I channel. So if if you were to just continue down on that journey, you will get the answers yourself. And for you, the only person or uh, light being that has the answers is you as your higher self for you. The answers for you lies within you, right? But other teachers or people outside you can help you reach that part of you, um, help you open up to that part of you, and maybe guide you a little bit on the process of reaching that point where you live more and more from your higher self than from the ego space. Uh, and when I say ego, it's not egoistic, it's the monkey mind, the brain, uh, the part of you that is speaking, you know, uh, all the time and maybe telling you things that's not true. Um, so that's kind of what the awakening process is for me. And, and it's difficult for me to put it in stages and say, okay, first you're going to experience this and then you're going to experience this. And then it's, it's different for everybody because it all depends on where you come from. It, it depends on your experience, right? So I can't really put things like that. It wouldn't be right. It doesn't feel right for me to do so. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of sharing a little bit here and there and trying to explain different things that come to me that Spirit tells me to, to share because um, there is no right or wrong way to do the awakening process. And it takes the time it takes, you know. So, so that was just a little bit about the awakening process and why I chose to call my channel Awakening to True Self. Uh, now, if that's the name, I'm going to continue it all the way. You know, I've changed the name several times on this channel. Uh, I don't know, but that's where we're at right now. And, um, 
yeah, I hope that some of the content that I'm putting out is reaching you in a good way and that you appreciate that I share. Um, but I would like to have some input if you want to on stuff that you would like to know more about. So uh, if you feel like being honest about that, then you put a comment down in the comment section as a little idea or a little bit of what you would like to hear more about or learn more about in your awakening process. Okay? Thank you so much for participating today. Wishing you the very best. Till the next time I see you.